What happens to sugar when it dissolves in water? When sugar dissolves in water or another liquid, a physical process known as dissolution occurs. During this process, sugar molecules become uniformly distributed throughout the liquid, creating a homogeneous solution. When some sugar is added to water, the sugar crystals start to separate and disperse in the liquid. The attractive forces between the water molecules, which are hydrogen bonds, and the sugar molecules begin to overcome the attractive forces between the sugar molecules themselves. This initial step involves the sugar crystals breaking down into individual sugar molecules. As the sugar molecules separate, water molecules surround and bond with them. The oxygen atoms in the water molecules form hydrogen bonds with the hydroxyl OH groups on the sugar molecules. This process is called hydration or solvation, and it helps stabilize the sugar molecules in the solution. The sugar molecules, now surrounded by water molecules, become evenly dispersed throughout the liquid. This results in a uniform distribution of sugar molecules in the solution. Each sugar molecule is surrounded by a layer of water molecules, preventing the sugar from reaggregating into crystals. The dissolution process continues until the solution becomes saturated, which means no more sugar can dissolve in the liquid at that temperature and pressure. If you add more sugar than the liquid can hold, which will create a supersaturated solution, excess sugar will usually settle at the bottom of the container. From those steps, we will know that the dissolving of sugar is a physical change, not a chemical one. This is because the sugar molecules remain unchanged during dissolution. The sugar-water mixture is a homogeneous solution where the sugar is evenly distributed throughout the liquid. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button or subscribe button for more interesting topics.